from Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the indices in the United States. And it was Memorial Day on Monday, but the futures were open up uh, for, you know, on and off during the day in a couple different short term uh, electronic sessions. Basically, all they've shown is hesitation. Not a huge surprise. Not a very liquid environment. No reason to get overly excited about much. 4,200 continues to be a bit resistive in the S&P 500. If we can break above the 42, say 35-ish area, then we're likely to go towards 4,400. Pullbacks at this point should be supported by the 50-day EMA and most certainly 4,000 underneath. NASDAQ 100, same situation, 50-day EMA coming into the picture. 14,000 above, massive resistance if we break that. I think eventually we go looking at 15,000. Pullbacks, I think, are supported by not only the 50-day EMA, but the uptrend line. If we break the uptrend line, I'd be a buyer of puts. I'd, I'd have a go at that, but uh, I would not be short of this market. You just don't short these things. Um, this way, you can make a little bit of money without risking your entire account. So uh, keep in mind, central banks continue to push these indices higher, and that, that hasn't changed. Music.